Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 34. This is NXT TV this week. We are in Massachusetts, the Big E Coliseum, in front of 4,383 fans. So let's get straight into the action. We see Johnny Gargano and Tomasa Champa DIY entering the building. They're looking for the Young Bucks tonight, as we remember last week at NXT TakeOver In Your House. The Young Bucks debuted, costing Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa a chance in their first ever one-on-one -on -one rematch since losing the championship to the Authors of Pain, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Now, also Gargano won one-on-one -on -one with Eric Young last week in which the Young Bucks hopped the barrier, super kicked them straight in the face, and Eric Young got the victory as well. So, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY are definitely on the hunt for some bucks tonight. All right, and I said uh, last week that I copied this. Not even going to lie. Love the idea of having an intro intro promo. So, an NXT opening video package with Bobby Roode, Drew McIntyre, Andrade, Cian Almas, Mr. NXT, Tomasa Ciampa, Matt, and Nick Jackson. Better announcing. Got the crowd hotter. All of our storylines have advanced, gained heat. Some of them, no worker improvements. That's all right. So, Bobby Roode, Drew McIntyre, Andrade, Cian Almas, uh, Mr. NXT, Tomas Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, which for some reason he's missing, and the Young Bucks. All right, now the opening segment. Here we go. Tom Phillips, Nigel McGuinness, and Steve Crino welcome us to NXT. Tom Phillips says that tonight on NXT, we're going to have one hell of a show. Tom Phillips says that tonight in the main event, as a graphic loads, we're going to see a rematch from NXT TakeOver in your house as Adam Cole, baby, gets another shot at the NXT number one contender this time around, Andrade Cien Almas. Nigel McGuinness says, don't forget Tyler Bate, the NXT UK champion, will take on Tino Sabatelli, which was made official by William Regal last week here on NXT. Tom Phillips lastly adds that Ruby Riot will take on Billy Kay tonight, and the author of the pain will defend their NXT championship, as William Regal has said, against a team they have yet to face here in NXT. All this, oh, excuse me, and so much more tonight on NXT The Game. All right, so this year, standard opening segment here, Tom Phillips, Nigel McGuinness, Steve Crino. Getting everyone hyped for the show. The, the angle got the crowd hotter. Phillips looked lost. I, my announcing has been all over the place after being fantastic for the first 30-something episodes. All right, in the first match. And about that, a decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. Ruby Riot defeats Mandy Rhodes in six minutes with the Heidi Ho. Mrs. Loveless. Ruby Riot gets the victory here tonight on uh, Mandy Rhodes over... Well, Ruby Riot gets the victory over Mandy Rhodes. This match did its job and gave the crowd a breather. That's great. Ruby Riot had an in-ring performance of 69, Mandy Rose of 60. This was an eye candy match with the target. There was no improvements. Uh, we probably could have placed this show later, this match later in the card, but um, we're going early because we have another uh, match later that I have similarly booked to cool the crowd down. So, either way, Ruby Riot with a victory. After the match, though, Ruby Riot asked for a microphone and his hand one. Ruby Riot calls out the NXT Women's Champion Peyton Royce and says she wants a chance at her NXT Women's Championship. So Ruby Riot declaring herself, you know, declaring that she wants to take on at least Peyton Royce, the NXT Women's Champion, one half of the iconic duo. The camera quickly finds, excuse me, well, the producers quickly find Billy Caden, NXT Women's Champion Peyton Royce, the iconic duo, backstage right after. Ruby has just made her challenge. Billy says, oh, crazy, eh, Pay? Peyton says she knows, and anyone, just anyone thinks they can get a shot at her NXT Women's Championship. The hair flip of Peyton Royce fades us out, but only after the camera lingers on Billy Kate nodding her head and looking at the NXT Women's Championship drape on the waist of her best friend, Peyton Royce. So Billy Kay, obviously best friends with Peyton Royce of the iconic duo, but definitely wants a championship match herself. Why not? No improvements here. All right, next, just a quick little reminder, everyone, that Alistair Black will return from injury next week here on NXT. Let me go ahead and write this down. Hold on, Alistair Black. All right. Next segment. And about that, at subpar wrestling and little heat, Tyler Bate defeats Tino Sabatelli in 248 when Tino Sabatelli intentionally gets counted out. Tyler Bate gets the victory tonight over Tino Sabatelli. Due to Tino Sabatelli getting himself accidentally counted out. All right. 
Next up, and about that a decent wrestling, we didn't have much heat. Bridges of Crow's Nets defeats Kimberly in 7 minutes and 10 seconds by submission. Bridges gets the victory tonight here on NXT. The commentary team gave it a boost. Thank God, because it wasn't a very good rating. There was no work or improvement in this match. I got my son Cohen with me here now. Cohen, how's it going, buddy? I'm just in the, my, my mom and dad's bedroom watching Power Rangers. Um, this is an NXT podcast, a wrestling show, Cohen. I don't know if they want to hear about your Power Rangers. So, let's, I'm going to be here for the rest of the show. All right. Ooh, a brawl-based match. All right, Kimberly, we will not do that again. The fans cheer as DIY is shown on screen. A loud chant breaks out as they are shown with the NXT commissioner, William Regal. Regal tells DIY that, unfortunately, he has not booked the Young Bucks here tonight. Cohen, as you remember, the Young Bucks cost them their match against Authors of Pain for the Champions. The fans boo, however, as they'll be making their debut next week on NXT. That is the Young Bucks. Ciampa and Gargano seem bummed, but Gargano and Ciampa leave quickly because Ciampa is taking on Mr. NXT, the NXT Money in the Bank winner, coming up next. I well, heard that from one of the shows when I was out here being cry because I was just up Right. So Cohen knows that as well, folks. The Road Agent Report... William Regal's a massive job. Nothing else has happened here but uh, in terms of worker improvements, but we're going to advance the storyline. We now get a breakdown of what happened last week regarding the NXT Championship number one contendership spot between Andrade, Cian Almas, Bobby Roode, and Mr. NXT. With the decision landing on, Andrade, Cian Almas is the number one contender to Drew McIntyre's NXT Championship. And then breaks down the backstage brawl last week that Bobby Roode and Mr. NXT had, Cohen. Yes, it's early, we know, but William Regal Cohen has made it official. At the next NXT TakeOver special, it'll be the glorious one, Bobby Roode, taking on Mr. NXT. Do we have any impact, uh, worker improvements, no worker improvements? Um, Storylines have advanced, though, Cohen. So that's good. In the next match, Mr. NXT defeats Tommaso Ciampa in 14-18 by pinfall with a high-speed roundhouse kick following interference from Matt Jackson. During the match, we also had Nick Jackson run in and attack Champa. So Tommaso Champa, DIY, again gets the loss thanks to those damn pesky young bucks. Tommaso Champa with a 53, Mr. NXT with a 64. It lost heat. That's not great. Is there any improvements? There is no improvements, Cohen, but I it did heard, get the match hotter. I've been hearing every show about the young bucks. I've been hearing everything mm-hmm. about them running in. That is just so bad what they're doing. So bad what they're doing, folks. We fade back to the ringside area now as Paul Elring is standing with his Authors of Pain. Paul Elring says that his Authors of Pain Cohen remain undefeated and tonight two NXT superstars will take to pretend there's commercial break. Two NXT superstars will take on Acom and Razor for the NXT Tag Team Champions tonight. Normally he'd call this a joke, says Paul Elring. However, he understands his Authors of Pain put eyeballs on the screen. So let's have it then, then Paul Elring says. NXT Tag Team Championships on the line next, left go. Announcing quality lifted. Commentary gifted. The angle was hotter. Acom looked good. Elring looked dreadful. Did we get any, uh, there was no improvements. I'm going to guess it's going to be the Young Bucks. Oh, I don't know about that. The Young Bucks, William Regal just said they weren't there, remember? I'm kidding. He's kidding. But we know they're there because we just saw them. uh, Yeah, so they could be in it. I'm going to tell you right now, Cohen. Spoiler. It's not them. But it is. Mm. Who is it? We'll just have to wait and see for a second. We quickly see Sanity backstage. Eric... <clears throat> backstage as they pop up on the Titantron. Eric Young is talking. Eric Young talks up of his big big win last week over Johnny Gargano and touches on Sanity's lack of championship matches, AOP. Eric Young calls out William Regal and lets it be known whether the author Payne's win right now or whoever they face tonight wins. Sanity wants a shot at the NXT championships of the tag team variety since it looks like they're being handed out like candy, Cohen. Eric Young screams as we fade out. Killing Dane was underwhelming. Killing Dane is improving, though. That's all right. All right, Cohen. Next. Looks like it's Cassius Ono and Ty Dillinger who are defeated, unfortunately, by the Authors of Pain in 1259 when Acom defeats Cassius Ono by pinfall. The Authors of Pain, Cohen, make defense number seven of their NXT Tag Team Championships. And you know what? They're on a roll. Cassius Ono is not soon. He got hurt. He's obtaining a lateral epidontiatis. I have no idea what that is. I, Re- I Razor. Go ahead. I'm guessing um, 
They were doing it on the other the plane. They were doing it to the finish one. The super collider? And messed up. Yeah, they got hurt or something. Oh, yeah, think, I bet, I bet you think they, they boxed it? You think they I boxed they, it? I bet they accidentally <laughs> They boxed it. Cohen thinks, uh, my son's seven. He thinks the yeah, after the pain are very botch, uh, botch heavy. Anyways, Cash Zone is injured now. It looks like that's not great. Elring and Razor have great chemistry. They were good at calling the matches as well. Raycar, you know, they're really, really doing great. The unstop the unopposed storyline has advanced. The authors of pain have been pretty dominant. Razor is improving in performance. The authors of pain, you know, more so than anyone else, are continuing to improve here. I'm guessing they're gonna be doing good. Uh oh, Acom got a little heat. This might not be good. It may derail their push. We'll see how many people hate them. All right, the Authors of Pain, Acom, and Razor with Paul Ellering celebrate post-victory again. The Authors of Pain seem unstoppable, Cohen. No work or improvements. We're they heading... All right. A camera quickly catches Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, running out of the building and hopping into a car, driving off. A moment or so later, Cohen DIY appears, looking for them. Guess they weren't gone. Were they, Regal? They were here all along. All right, no work or improvements. And in our main event, Adam Cole defeats Andrade Cien Almas in 19.48 minutes, baby, by pinfall with a flying crossbody after a distraction from the NXT champion Drew McIntyre. As Adam Cole celebrates his huge victory, he did not see the distraction, Cohen, thus it's free and clear. He thought he did it by himself. He exits the ring. Drew McIntyre, the NXT champion, is standing in the corner in the line of sight of Andrade Cien Almas, who's mouthing bien, bien, which means good in Spanish, Cohen. Drew McIntyre taps his NXT championship on his shoulder as the camera lands on Almas, then Drew, to end this episode of NXT TV. Performance of Drew was good. Segment is a better announcing. Adam Cole was getting better. There's no work or improvements. I think this is going to be like a 60 if we're lucky. 67. All right, and increase it in 45 regions. Not as bad as we thought, Cohen. I guess I was expecting a little bit more out of Adam Cole and Andrade Cian Almas. Either way, Cohen, this was NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 34. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you later.